Hey everybody, it's Milo, aka SleepyKitten66, and right before this video starts, I have a few things to say. I promise this won't take too much time. If you're listening to this again, though, there will be a timestamp on screen when the beginning of the audio starts, but I urge you to listen to this because it is very important. So, currently, uh, as you all know, I am limited on the amount of videos I can make right now due to the fact that I'm trying to graduate high school. But I am a bit more active on some art accounts I have online where I will post art, you know, a couple days a week. And uh, I love to hear feedback and chat with people. Uh, so those will be in the description. Uh, my main art accounts are my Twitter, DeviantArt, and Instagram. I would love to uh, see you all there. And um, a little info uh, about the video you're about to hear. Um, in case anybody is confused, this is a... The, the intro to this is current day in Ember and the Listener's Relationship, and then the rest of the audio is a sort of flashback. I understand a few people may be confused by the presentation. Um, and with uh, that said and done, thank you all very much for listening to this. I hope that you all enjoy, and if anybody wants to stop by my art accounts to see more lovely Ember art, uh, you can feel free to. Also, the image in this video was drawn by me, so if you're interested in more of uh, Ember without a shirt on, or to see Ember in his skeletal form, then you can follow my socials down below. Have a wonderful listening experience. Praise the himbo. <laughs> yes, it does look beautiful on you. <laughs> I love this. Well, you and getting to be with you and lounging around on the couch while the snowstorm billows outside. <laughs> yes. Mm, getting to be on the couch with my favorite person. <laughs> Favorite person. Yeah. Do you remember when you and I went and got this ring? God, it feels like forever ago. But also yesterday. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. I remember that day very vividly. Uh. Do you remember it? Mm hmm. Oh, sorry. I I didn't mean to. Um. Uh, uh, did you say something? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear you. I was, uh, I was a little lost in thought. No, no, I, I'm, I'm all right. I, uh, th this place just carries some heavy memories, but I suppose that's why we're here, right? To, um, deal with heavy memories. Right, I still haven't told you when I lost you, have I? Um... Well, you see, um... I, uh... D do you remember when I told you about why I came to this cave in the first place a few years ago? Before you and I met? Yeah, um... Well, when I... When I tried to do that, um, I, uh, I lost something very important. It was a ring that belonged to my mother. I, uh, I dropped it in the pool of water that we're heading towards in the center of the cave. Um, and, uh, I need it back. I have to get it back. It's... You're right. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be 
so heavy with all this, I... Thank you for coming with me. It, it means a lot that there's someone with me, and especially means a lot that you're here. Are you alright? I would assume that you'd be rather cold. Yeah, the uh, snowstorm is uh, pretty crazy. It's, um, it's uh, even worse than the last time I was here. Um, come on, let's let's keep going. We're almost there. Yeah, it is a bit warmer in here, isn't it? It's uh, it's a lot nicer. Careful, don't get too close. You aren't like me. It, it wouldn't be safe. Okay. Um. But before I do this, let's sit down for a bit. Um. I know it was a little vague when I asked you to come with me. So, uh, if you have any questions that you want to ask, I suppose that that, uh, would be fair. This place? Um, okay, so, this place is, um, well, the cave isn't anything significant. It's the pool that's what's important. It's sort of a gateway into, um, the, the flow of the magic throughout the world, th this world specifically, and, uh, I, being a being, uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering, since I am a being made mostly of magic now, it, uh, if I spent too long in there, I would basically dissolve. So this place is, um, kind of where things you can't die can come to die. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is why I, I came here the first time. But this time is different. Well, for one, I'm in a much better place than I was then. For two, I... I have you. And I would never want to leave you. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't mean to get sappy. I know we have something serious. Something important to, you know. <laughs> Right. Anything else you want to ask? Why the winter specifically? Ah, oh, right. So, this place... D different gateways open up during different times. This is one of the only ones that isn't guarded by some magical being who's taken up residence here. Unfortunately, it only opens during the dead of winter, which is why it's so bloody cold. I I would have taken us here earlier or later in the year, um, but I physically couldn't. So, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, it uh, it is um very interesting. How, the, how clear the water is. It's deeper than it looks, by the way. Don't, uh, don't go sticking yourself in there. Well, you aren't made of magic, so you won't... Nothing bad happen to you like it would to me, but it's still... It'd be like dipping yourself in a, a pool full of liquid oxygen. It, it's just not a good idea. Yeah. 
That's why uh, I'm going to be the one going down and fetching it, and you're going to be the one holding the rope. Because, you know, um, it's, it's honestly a lot safer for me to be in the water than for you. Right. Anything else? I'm sorry I'm so scrambled, by the way. I just... This is... This is... Honestly, really anxiety-inducing for me. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I will be alright. I, I promise. But the hug is appreciated. Thank you, sweetheart. I always know how to help me feel a little better. <laughs> Come here. <sighs> oh, um, yes, uh, you're going to uh, have to see me in my other form for this. It's a lot easier to get down there when I don't have flesh and stuff. Uh, yes, I, I know you haven't seen me like it in that form very often before, so please, all I'm asking is that you don't freak out. It can be a little uh, how to put this What? <laughs> what was that? What kind of joke was that? I, I can be a skeleton of things to That was the worst joke I've ever heard you make. <sighs> yes, I am smiling. You did get me to smile. <sighs> Yes, it can be a skeleton of things to handle. I'm... I just... I, I know you're looking at your partner and I turn into a nearly seven foot tall skeleton thing with glowing orange eyes. It's a little strange. I already have glowing, glowing orange eyes and I am already almost seven feet tall. But you, you get my point. I, I just, whatever happens, please just remember that it's still me, okay? It, this isn't some weird werewolf thing where I change personalities. I, I don't, none of the werewolves I've met even do that, actually. I don't know where that came from in the media. But it's not, it's not anything like that. Don't worry, it's still going to be me. I'm just going to be several hundred pounds lighter and, um, lacking in clothing because I clothes would seriously weigh me down and it would be really hard to pull me up. Speaking of which, um, I, I am going to have to, to yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to strip for this, so could you turn around? Just actually, you know what, it, it might be easier if I just, you know, just change first and then take off, take off my, my winter gear. That probably, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is really, this is really weird. I, Okay, you're right. I can do this. We can do this. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh. Ooh, okay, alright. Okay. Um, this is a little bright, so if you wanna... No? Okay. Oh, okay. Just relax and feel it melt away. Forcing it still feels a little weird. Uh, so, um, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> why are you... 
Yeah, I, I can still feel that. I can still feel your hand on my face. Thank you. I, I'm very warm. Hmm. Well, of course, I can still feel things. I, I mean, I have skin, but you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm magic. I can, I can still feel things even when I'm uh, just, just bones. <laughs> Yes, I can feel you tapping on my ribs. Yes, I can feel you tapping on my spine. Yes, I can... Don't you... Goodness, don't... Goodness, I'm... Yes, I'm very... I just... <laughs> You're getting awful handsy. Alright. Here, let me let me stop taking this off. It already feels really heavy now that it's like really loose fitting. Yeah. So this is probably the weirdest thing we have ever done as a couple. Me getting rid of my human form and stripping off all of my clothes to go dive into a pool full of magic will you tie a rope to my back and make sure to help pull me up because it's physically impossible for me to swim back up on my own yep yeah. <sighs> definitely the weirdest thing if I had a nickel for every time I was naked next to this pool of water I would have two nickels which isn't a lot but it's very strange that it's happened twice Yes. All right. I'm ready for the rope. Do not give me that look. <laughs> Honey, please. Oh, listen, if you're really that intent on tying me up, you can do it later. But for now, we're in the middle of a very important thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So just, yeah. Twice around and then tie a knot. Okay. <sighs> Alright, and if you start to feel the rope shake, don't worry about it. Unless the rope starts to feel like it's being pulled in a different direction than where I'm heading, in which case, worry about it and pull me up right away. Okay. <sighs> Everything's secure. Okay. All right. Whew. Whew. Okay, I, I've got this. Hmm? Uh. Thank you. Okay. You know what? I'm just. I'm just going to. I'm going to do it. All right. You have a good hold on the rope. And we've got the weight tied at the other end. All right. And down I go. Pull me up, pull me up, please. Oh my god, I'm freezing. 
Oh, I'm freezing and burning. <sighs> I forgot how terrible that feels. But I have it. I have it. Okay. Yeah, just help me. Whew. Whew. Oh, God. Yeah. <sighs> you know, maybe skydiving doesn't seem like a sc as much of a scary thing anymore. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, do I still have all my bones? One, two, three. One, two, one, twenty-three. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay, and I have it. I have it. You, can you take it? My hand is shaking really bad. I don't want to. Tr I don't want to drop it. Oh uh, yeah. I'm out of breath, and I don't even have lungs right now. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cry, that's why I'm laughing so much. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, maybe it was a really dumb idea not to invite Midnight to this. Maybe I should have dragged Midnight along to this, even though he's in the middle of college. Maybe I should have brought him along with this. But I, oh, I never want to do that ever, ever again, but thank you so much for pulling me up. You are my rock. You know what, as soon as I'm free of all this magic water goop, I'm going to hug you so much and so hard. <laughs> yes, thank you for the towel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm making bird noises. Oh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah? Oh! Oh god! Ha ha ha! Whew! Hmm. Sorry about that. It's involuntary. I feel a little bit better when I, you know, have a... I feel... I'm more secure in my human form most of the time these days. Oh! Oh, yeah. Alright. I'm calm. I'm calm. Yes. Shut, please. Yes, I... I... Oh. <sighs> yeah, um... That's it. What this whole escapade was for. That ring. I... Mother's ring. One of the last things I have left of her. Thank you so much for helping me get this. It means the world to me that you agreed to help me with this. And I just... <laughs> yeah. Come on, come here. Yeah. I promise I'm not soaked anymore. Yeah. Yes, I would very much like a kiss, thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, you can take a closer look at it. Yeah. It really is beautiful. It's a... Uh, Oh, the stone in the center? Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's actually really interesting. Um, I remember my mother telling me about it when I was little. You see, um, the stone is actually, uh, it's, it's little pieces of garnet, tiny, tiny pieces all inlaid on, on the center of the ring, and then, uh, in, in between those tiny pieces are emeralds 
And then in between those are like sapphires and pieces of, of lapis and little flecks of gold. It's an amazing work of craftsmanship. It, I've, um, uh, apparently it's a, actually with, um, like, enough to, God, how, well, it's worth, it's worth enough that I would never, ever sell it, <laughs> even if I, <laughs> I, uh, like, yeah, let's not, let's, let's disregard the fact that we're basically holding my entire life salary in my hands. <laughs> this is, uh, much more precious than any amount of money could amount to. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, if one day you and I have got that far, right? I wouldn't mind offering a ring like this to you. <laughs> yes, I am. I am saying that I would make something just as special for you if, you know, I am um, ever proposed. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> let's, uh, let's just rest for a bit, and then I'll get the rest of my gear back on and can head back to the cabin. I'm sure that my parents are worried sick. Second time I run off in this place. I mean, they knew what I was doing, but, uh, you know. Uh, I, I didn't want them to come along for a, a wide variety of reasons. Mostly because this place has a very d d adverse effect on most reapers that aren't trained to deal with it, and my parents aren't. I don't want... Well, to, to put it very simply, um, they'd be very dizzy and nauseous and probably thrown up. Well, yeah, part of the reason I, I didn't invite them. Midnight is actually trained to deal with magical disturbances like this, but, uh, he's off for college, so, you know, um, I don't really want to bother him. Also, I heard that he and Lotus were going on a little bit of a date weekend, so of course I didn't want to interrupt his precious time with my future brother-in-law, whom I'm basically sure is going to be my future brother-in-law at this point, like there's no doubt about it. Those two are practically already married. Have you seen them? They're adorable. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm going to be honest, I am super cold right now. Could you have me my coat? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey. I love you. <laughs>